I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> uh, well, shout out to other creators uh, <laughs> by letting me know because I, to be honest with you, I really didn't know it was trending. I, I, I did not know it was trending, but uh, there was a, uh, there was a video, there was a show about it. And now my girl Nifa Nee, she was talking about it. I, of course, for research purposes, I, I didn't even realize it was on my timeline. And it was, it was, it was right there. <laughs> it was right there on the timeline. So listen, all I just got to say is nothing is accidental anymore. In the world of entertainment, nothing is accidental. It wasn't an accident when Kim Kardashian quote unquote sex tape was leaked it wasn't no accident when tommy and pamela anderson's sex tape was leaked there wasn't no accident of the hilton sex tape was leaked there's no accidents in the world of entertainment now for a person of popularity and i i mentioned all of the females in the in in previous it was all popularity they didn't get super popular until after they dropped a set tape so why is everybody surprised when sexy red sets tape pops up that's all she been talking about all of her talk shows all of her podcasts everybody that she sat down with she talked about being either either being elfed getting elfed uh 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 she's the she's the um the no rubber queen she's the queen she talks about it hold on it was a, a condom in my trash can and he told on me and said that i was doing fucking but it was not my condom my nigga called me the next day and was like you had a condom in your trash can and stuff i'm like that wasn't my condom i, like, I don't use condoms baby right. i'm the raw dog queen she talks about it i mean let's let's be honest here let's be honest here like back in the day when 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 rappers come up and they try to get some type of niche we come to find out that vanilla ice didn't grow up in the hood he was an average white boy going to average high school he ain't know nothing about the hood drugs or anything like that hell rick ricky ross was a corrections officer he, he ain't know nothing about cocaine. He was a corrections officer. They made movies about uh, uh, about fake rappers. There's documentaries about fake rappers trying to get in a niche. Here's this young lady, her and Sukiana, because Sukiana's. Well, it wasn't a whole set tape. I mean, she was pretty much doing herself, but her tape leaked. It was a lot of controversy, a lot of talk about that. And what she do, she come back and know how that got leaked. The same thing with uh, Sessy Red. She had to, she had to come out and and try to pass the buck on to the dude that was recording see here's my thing right and dave Chappelle did it better i think i got i think i got a clip that's coming up but he made a he made a skit <laughs> he made a skit like yo we about to get busy 
Here, sign this in. Hold on. Don't tell anybody about this. From the makers of the love contract comes the confidentiality agreement. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to tell anybody. I know you won't. Or I'll sue your ass. <laughs> Kobe! <laughs> Kobe? <laughs> Listen, you about to get d down by average dude. We don't even know who that dude is. Could be your baby's father. Could be your sneaky link or anything like that. But you're a popular female, popular artist. You you going to schools like you going into art, school auditoriums to 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 sing your hit song Pound Town at a high school. Go figure that one out. But anyway, you you got a whole female, young female, impressionable following, and 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 here you are, bam, with a cess tape. Whoever didn't see that coming, I don't even understand what y'all tripping on. Why y'all tripping? Why y'all tripping? Now, she said that. Oh, her account was hacked and it was uploaded by the dude that was giving me the D. Oh, I, I, I need to pass it to somebody. I, I need to I need to have a clean look on this. I mean, think about it. Uh, Kim Kardashian and kind of lightweight blamed Ray J for the, the sets tape being leaked. But we come to find out later that it was her that actually leaked <laughs> and and made millions off the tape. And what did Ray J get out of the deal? I mean look I mean look what look what Kim Kardashian's sets tape got her now. They got a whole brand Kardashian brand. Hell, the mama even changed her name from Jenner back to Kardashian so she can have the brand. All because of Kim Kardashian cracking them legs open for the Ray J. That's all it is. It's all for attention. I mean, look, look what look what happened to uh, Hilton. I mean, she just got a little bit more exposure after her sets tape. Pamela Anderson, same thing with her. Tommy Lee, same thing with him. You just got a little bit more exposure. Now, listen, Sessie Red, I, I don't know what you're gonna do, but you should ride this wave. You should you you really should ride this wave right here. You you knew you knew it was coming. I honestly think that you was the one that leaked the tape. And since everybody giving you a whole bunch of backlash on it, you you tried to pass the buck on to the dude that was recording. Now, if the clap session was was supposed to be private and everything private then you knew better to let old boy record the session don't tell anybody about this from the makers of the love contract comes the confidentiality agreement. <laughs> don't worry i'm not gonna tell anybody i know you won't or i'll sue your ass <laughs> my guy got receipts Hey, look, y'all. I, I, I F the one and only Set C Red, the most popular female quote unquote ratchet artist right now. And this is a one up when you look at it. This is a one up. Like, 
when Sukiana was was doing her thing, you know, doing her thing with her hand and everything. I mean, she wasn't getting pound town. I mean, well, well, she was going to pound town. She was pounding town in herself. But this is a one up. Like Sukiana must have called Sessie Red up and said, "Hey, you know what? You know, I I did this and this is what happened." Sassy Red was like, yo, I got one better. Just wait. And then, boom, there it is. Sassy Red. In all her redness. In all her redness. I <laughs> I said before. <laughs> I said before, dudes, bros, guys. They it, it doesn't matter if she ugly or not, man. Bros is going to hit that. Bros is going to do a clap session. A woman could be 800 pounds and bros will still get a clap session. So what makes you guys think that Sexy Red, with, with all her redness, couldn't, you know, couldn't snag a guy to have a clap session with? You, you guys knew it was going to happen. I don't understand why y'all surprised. I'm not. I'm not. It's all she did. Uh, she did the, she did the, the 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 circuit. She went across the circuit and let it everybody know, hey, I am the raw dog queen. Right. I'm the raw dog queen. Hell, Sukiana went across the water to look for somebody to clap, be get in a clap session with her. What she said? I'm looking to get my coochie scratched. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched and eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass. We be eating niggas ass today in London. I'm looking to get my coochie scratch. Yes. I'm ready to eat some ass. But she didn't have her session recorded. What? Well, maybe. Maybe she did. Maybe she did. Maybe she was. Maybe she was thoughtful enough to, you know, snatch that phone out that dude's hand. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. But it is what it is. This 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 is this is the this is the social media era. This is the era of social media. Everything has to be put out on social media, and I I to this very day still don't understand it. You know, dudes getting killed because they put their money on social media. It was a dude that got set up, but the girlfriend claims that she didn't set him up. But but whatever it was, he won He won the lottery. He won about eight, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000. Him and the girl was together. Some dude ran up on him, killed him, kidnapped the girl, dropped the girl off, and that was it. You got people putting way too much stuff on the internet, bro. Talking, talking way too much. Look what happened to that Keefy D dude. I, I, I ain't even know who Keefy D was. I, I, I ain't even know that he had anything to do with Pop's murder. I mean, think about this, man. The, 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 the people that killed Biggie. No, nobody having did the talk show circuit talking about that. But here's this dude running off at the mouth. Oh, I was in the car. And, and, and when the guns came out, I ducked. So let me get this straight, sir. You was in the car. And you had nothing to do with it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is the social media. That's why a lot of people should back off of social media. That's why a lot of people should not put too much information out there. You know, whether it's for likes or views or anything like that. If you don't want your information out there to be talked about, then maybe you should be a little bit more mindful of the information that you put out there. I don't get it. I don't get it. So I'll leave you with this. Right? 
whatever information that you put out there, whether it's on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, or anything like that, just because it's your uh, video, your, your quote unquote property or something like that, don't expect people to ask permission to commentate on your video. Rather, it's a good commentator. Now, if somebody takes the content and make a good commentation video on it, you all in their chat session. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. I really appreciate it. Y'all be on live feeds. Thanks for sharing. Please share this. Please get this information out. But yet when somebody comes and critique it and commentary on it, and have their own opinion based on the information that you put out there. Now it's, it's my video. It's, you need my permission. Uh, don't take, don't take my video without my permission. Uh, uh, you need my permission. Oh, uh, uh, next time you take my video, I'm going to sue. Good luck with that one. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that one because I'm sure your lawyer will tell you about fair use. It's it, Google it. If you don't know what fair use is, Google it. And then you can get an understanding of maybe, just maybe, I might need to watch what I put out there. Again, like I said, if somebody talking about it in a good light, oh, you all for the share. You all for the, oh, take my video and and, and share it and, and push it and, and get more and more people on it. But when somebody gets a hold of that video and say, hmm, well, maybe I don't think that is kind of appropriate maybe and somebody shares their opinion on it then it's oh you need my opinion you need my permission and you need this and you need that and 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 don't take my videos without my permission and and all like that or i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna sue but yet ain't you the same one that tells the people to share the video anyway I mean, that's why that, that's the reason why you put it out there in the Internet. The Internet is forever. Ever. So just think about that next time you talk about a school, talk about a trucking company, talk about something, do something in the video, act all crazy in the video or whatever you want to put out there in the world to see, then don't get mad if somebody comes back and do a commentary video on it or a reactionary video on it.